If you're trying to decide between investing in a 401k or a Roth IRA, you could really go with either, and it's really going to depend on your investment timeline. Today, we're going to talk about 401ks versus Roth IRAs and which one is better for you. And just a quick note, I am not a financial advisor, and this is not personalized investment advice. You may be more familiar with a 401k, so we're going to start with those. A 401k is an employer-sponsored retirement plan that often comes with a great benefit in an employer match. So if your employer offers a 3% match, and that means if you contribute 3% and then your employer contributes 3%, you're really getting 6% contributed from your annual salary to your 401k. 401ks have an annual contribution limit of $20,500 in 2022. That's $27,000 for those who are age 50 or older. So for easy math, let's just say that you make $100,000 and your employer offers a 3% match. That means if you contribute 3% of your salary or $3,000, your employer will match it. That means you're actually getting 6% of your salary saved for retirement. If you haven't already, check out NerdWallet's 401k retirement calculator. This free tool estimates what your 401k balance will be at retirement by factoring in your contributions, employer matching dollars, your expected retirement age, and the growth of your investments. Contributions to a traditional 401k plan are taken out of your paycheck before the IRS takes its cut, which supersizes each dollar you save. Let's say Uncle Sam normally takes 20 cents of every dollar you earn to cover taxes. Saving $800 a month outside of a 401k requires earning $1,000 a month. 800 plus 200 to cover the IRS's cut. Now this will be different than a Roth 401k, pretty much only in how you get a tax advantage and when you get that tax advantage. So a Roth 401k is different than a traditional 401k in that you get the taxes out of the way up front. So you pay taxes on your money first, similar to a Roth IRA, and then your money can grow tax-free until you reach retirement. With a traditional 401k, you'll have to deal with taxes on the back end because you get a tax break up front. If your tax rate is higher now than you expect it to be in retirement, it can make sense to contribute to a traditional pre-tax 401k, especially since many retirees live frugally, resulting in a lower tax burden. But if your tax rate is low now and you expect it to be higher in retirement, you may want to make contributions with after-tax dollars, which you can do with a Roth 401k. Contributions to a Roth 401k can hit your budget harder today because an after-tax contribution takes a bigger bite out of your paycheck than a pre-tax contribution to a traditional 401k. Here are the pros of a 401k. The first is your employer match. If your employer offers a match, then you're basically getting free money. The second is a high annual contribution limit. That means that you can save more from retirement in any given year. Next, it's that eligibility is not limited by your income. Sometimes accounts have caps, so if you make over a certain amount, it'll start reducing the amount that you can contribute. And finally, depending on whether you're in a traditional 401k or a Roth 401k, you will be getting a tax benefit, it's just a matter of when. You'll be able to choose whether to pull money from a tax-free or tax-deferred pot or a combination of the two each year. That will let you better manage your taxable income, especially if you're not eligible for a Roth IRA because of income limits. Here are the cons of a 401k. You don't have as much control over your plan and the investment costs, and there's more of a limited investment selection. Distributions in retirement are taxed as ordinary income, unless it's a Roth 401k, and you're required to take minimum distributions starting at age 72. So that brings us to a Roth IRA. Like Roth 401ks, money put into a Roth IRA has already been taxed, so it can grow over time tax-free. The main difference between a 401k and a Roth IRA is that 401ks are offered by an employer versus a Roth IRA you open by yourself. Now, Roth IRAs typically offer more investments and 401ks have higher contribution limits, but Roth IRAs in particular come with really great benefits. Most Roth IRAs will give you access to a large investment selection, including individual stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. The investments you select should be based on your risk tolerance and time horizon. The longer you avoid withdrawals and make annual contributions to a Roth IRA, the more cash you'll potentially accrue, and the greater tax savings you'll likely to have down the line. NerdWallet has a Roth IRA calculator that can help you calculate potential earnings based on your contributions and timeline. So here are the pros. Roth IRAs have a larger investment selection, contributions can be withdrawn at any time, but earnings may incur taxes and penalties, and there are no required minimum distributions in retirement. The cons? Contributions are much lower than they are for a 401k. There's no immediate tax benefit for contributing, and the ability to contribute is phased out at higher incomes. 
The key benefit of a Roth IRA is that unlike a traditional IRA, you can make withdrawals without paying taxes on your contributions and earnings once you retire. In a Roth IRA, you take after-tax dollars and put them into your Roth account. Then you choose your investment and any interest gained grows tax-free. Because you already paid taxes on the money, your withdrawals during retirement are tax-free as you wait until 59 and a half and have had the account open for five years. This tax-free benefit even extends to heirs who may inherit your Roth IRA. In 2022, Roth IRAs have a contribution limit of $6,000 or $7,000 if you're 50 or older. So you can invest in a 401k and a Roth IRA at the same time. A lot of times it's a great idea to invest in a 401k until you can get your full employer match and then switch to a Roth IRA. If you're able to max out a Roth IRA, then it might be good to switch back to your 401k because the contribution limit is higher. And if your employer doesn't offer a 401k, you can always just start investing in a Roth IRA. And regardless of whether you're investing in a 401k or a Roth IRA or both, as long as you're investing, that's really the best thing you can do. I'm Alana Benson, an investing writer for NerdWallet. If you want to learn more, you should check out our video on active versus passive investing. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.